what's up YouTube so I know the last video with the whole uh, combustion analyzer thing I said we were gonna start doing this more so here's uh here's some more uh, not really tool oriented this time but um, more taking a look at this Cambridge um, make a brass system Here. I didn't get any footage of that yesterday because I was rushing like crazy. Um, so I had to be home uh, a little bit earlier. So I, like I said, rushing around like crazy, trying to get stuff done. Um, so this unit had a few issues with it. It um, number one, I guess a previous tech had uh, diagnosed a failing contactor and overload motor starter set up I'll show you that in a second um, so we got the okay to change that the there's a damper uh, in the second panel door here uh, a damper motor which is set up to the linkage that goes up in the, this section up in here where there's an actual you know a damper and shutter and whatnot that has to open um, when the system is it closes when it's off and opens when it's it starts um, so the issue they were having was when I got here uh, about two weeks ago um, was that this damper motor in here that's a new one in there but the old one wouldn't open you had to you know you can almost just touch it and then it would it would open itself up um, problem being is if that doesn't open up nothing starts so there, there's an uh, end switch in there that has to close and then the motor the lower motor starts um, and the gas valve then gets power for ignition and everything else um, this is just like a direct fired system so basically you know it's got the heating section in here it just blows across blows across that flame and everything through the duct and down into the, the building um, a lot of restaurants use them a lot of warehouses use them um, restaurants will use them for makeup air when the exhaust is on this place doesn't really have an exhaust um, but they are using it for the space heating in the for the warehouse section because basically everything from right where that little gooseneck is that's really close to the ground and not really good for snow but that's everything front of that is office everything back here is warehouse so this is actually taking care of the, the warehouse um, we're talking it's about a 300,000 BTU furnace um, so small little package tons of heat uh, just dumps down into a little diffuser head down through the ceiling you know through the roof and out into the warehouse space um, a typical makeup air unit would just have a set of filters on the, the back side of here and just bring in 100% outside air but this is actually bringing in outside air and some return air from the space because it is ducted down that way um, so let me I'll, I'll open up the controls and we'll, uh, we'll take basically this. these are your controls for it these are your disconnect that we turn on and off which is basically turns this switch um, Here's our contactor, our auxiliary switch, and overload for the motor starter that we changed yesterday. Um, what else? What else can I show you? It's pretty cool. There is a set of on-off things here for where it says remote, off, and local. So right now, if we turn everything off, uh, you can see my damper's closing back there. But what I can do is I can turn it on on local. So basically it's just like setting out a set of jumpers. I can turn the blow on. Like I said to you before, that damper will open up. Usually when that arm gets about, you know, top dead center, it'll fire the, the motor up. And if it's calling for heat, it'll fire the heat up. 
just after that. What we can do is come over here and flip the burner to local. Let me go through our sequence of operation. Ignition. We have ignition. have to turn this thing because I have to the interlock on the door. So we've got to turn that off. And then we can turn it back on. Now it's on the remote, which is working from this space downstairs. Everything will fire back up again. We got a motor to come on just about right now. So today I was here because yesterday they screwed up and um, the belt needed to be changed. So this was the belt that was in there. Nice and cracked and worn. Almost like it was an AX belt with teeth on it. But uh, I had to leave a runner with that last night um, because I did not have a belt to fit. Um, I didn't have enough play to get it at the next size up. I had a, an A47, not an A46. So I came back this morning, picked up a belt, and came back and put it in, and we are good to go here. So they're cranking along. Um, the warehouse guy is super happy because he's got heat now, where before, he said with the, the damper that was in, in here not opening, he had nothing. And he had nothing on those days when it was like zero degrees here and then, you know, and the negatives for uh, wind chill. So he was not a happy camper. So mysteriously yesterday, I came here yesterday, it was 66 degrees on the roof, February 5th, 2019. It was 66 degrees here in New York on Long Island. And this unit was running and it was running beautifully. Um, the one thing I did do, it has two, uh, two gas valves. And depending on the unit, it'll have a modulating valve, or this valve actually has a dial on it where you can actually set how much heat, you know, you change the gas pressure basically just by the dial and allow more heat in. Um, it's got an old, a limit switch here, but it also has a temperature sensor here and another one where this wire is hooked up in the return. So I don't know if you saw in the, the control panel over here, there's a little digital display and you can actually see what the temperature rises across and set it accordingly. Um, the battery on that display is dead. Um, so I didn't go crazy with it. Um, I just, he was wondering if he could get a little bit more heat out of it. I cranked it up with another two notches and made sure that the discharge temperature wasn't high, too high. And I think we're basically that's that for that. It's our Cambridge makeup air system using it as the space heater to spe heat the, the whole warehouse space and uh, basically in, in a nutshell. Alright guys, I will catch you guys on the next one.